Let's review qualification for real estate licensing in Florida. There are three categories of real estate licenses. They are broker, broker associate, and sales associate. Sales associate must work under the direction and control of an employer. Most often the employer is a broker. However, a sales associate may choose to work for an owner developer. A sales associate is a person who performs real estate services for compensation or other consideration, but does so under the direction, control, and management of an active broker or owner developer. An owner developer is an unlicensed entity such as a real estate development company that sells exchanges or leases its own property. The developer's sales staff must hold active real estate licenses in order to be paid on a commission basis. The sales staff is exempt from licensure if paid strictly on a salaried basis. A broker is a person who, for another and for compensation or other consideration, performs real estate services. Broker license requirements include additional education experience and passing the broker license exam. Broker associates are licensed as brokers, but choose to work under the direction of a broker employer. Sales associates and broker associates are agents of their employer. The DBPR is required to waive the initial license fee for eligible low-income applicants. The applicant must provide the background information that discloses whether the applicant has been convicted of a crime, or pleaded guilty to a crime, or pleaded no low contendere or no contest, even if a court action known as adjudication was withheld. Applicants must be at least 18 years of age and have earned a high school diploma or its equivalent. U.S. citizenship is not required and applicants do not have to be Florida residents. Applicants must, however, possess a social security number. The DBPR waives the initial licensing fee for a member of the armed services that has served on active duty. The fee waiver also applies to a spouse who is married to the active duty member during a period of active duty and to a surviving spouse of a member of the armed services who at the time of death was serving on active duty. The DBPR waives the application fee, the initial license fee, and the unlicensed activity fee for military veterans and their spouses who apply for a real estate license within 60 months after honorable discharge from the armed services. Applicants must also submit their fingerprints electronically as part of the license application process. The Commission and its monthly meeting reviews the summary of applicants' criminal history records. The Commission will vote to approve or deny the applications. Once the application for licensure has been received, the DBPR has 30 days to return the initial application for errors or omissions. Upon receipt of an acceptable application, the DBPR has 90 days to approve or deny the application. The license application expires two years after it has been received by the DBPR. A person who has resided continuously in Florida for four or more months is considered a Florida resident for application purposes. Once applicants has passed the state licensing exam, they are issued a license. The license serves as prima facie evidence that an individual holds a current and valid license. U.S. citizenship is not required to hold a Florida real estate license. If the licensee becomes a non-resident of Florida, the licensee must notify the commission within 60 days of change in residency and comply with all non-residents requirements. Florida grants reciprocity to U.S. Armed Services members and their spouses. The DBPR will issue a real estate license to active duty and former active duty members and their spouses who hold a valid real estate license from any other state. 
Some states are approved for mutual recognition with the Florida Real Estate Commission, FREC for short. Mutual recognition is a contractual agreement between Florida and another state to recognize each other's real estate education and experience requirements. A licensee from that state would need to pass a 40-question Florida-specific real estate law exam with a grade of at least 75% in order to become licensed in Florida. Mutual recognition applicants must be non-residents of Florida. A resident of Florida who is licensed and a mutual recognition state cannot apply for a Florida real estate license under mutual recognition. Let's review the qualifications for licensure. In Florida, a sales associate applicant must be 18 years old, have a high school diploma or its equivalent, possess a social security number, be honest, trustful, trustworthy, and of good character have a reputation for fair dealing, and be competent and qualified to make real estate transactions and conduct negotiations with safety to investors and others. Sales associate candidate must complete course one, which includes passing the end of course exam after successfully completing the pre-licensing education requirement. Applicants must pass the state license exam. If an applicant does not pass the state licensing exam within two years after the course completion date, the course completion expires and the applicant must complete the pre-licensing education course again. Thank you for watching. If you would like to learn more, visit us at www.onlinefloridaschoolofrealestate.com or ofsre.com for short.